Greetings and salutations. My name is Tish and welcome to the Artist Haven. In tonight's live video broadcast, we are having our Creators Tribe Hangout session. And we're, tonight we're going to be talking about finding inspiration in everyday things, uh, not only for art projects, but just life hacks and just, you know, in, what is it? Uh, necessity is the mother of invention. Well, there you go. We're just going to talk about all those kind of things and just kind of hang out totally cash. I'm going to bring everybody up and that way we can say hello to everybody. Ta -da! Hello, everybody. Uh, so uh, we have Michael and Janice and Mike and our pal Christopher is here for his first time. So everybody be nice to Christopher and say hello to him in the chat. Don't, don't be nice. <laughs> don't listen to Michael. My buddy. My buddy. <laughs> that doll creeped me out, man. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta watch out for those two. Oh, <laughs> those guys they used to work together, and they're like brothers, literally, <laughs> literally. Pretty much. Pretty so. much. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> you've been warned. <laughs> yes, we all been warned. Yeah. So, just a quick hello to cousin Diane and Tony and Angie is here as well, and Karen Peabody is here. And thank you um, for everybody's love and attention. I'm going to get this right out of the way so we don't have to talk about it anymore tonight. Um, for those of you who are new to the channel watching this on replay, we lost our dog uh, yesterday. Um, we had to put him down. He had some kind of neurological disorder. We don't know what it was. Um, but he went from fine to not fine in less than 24 hours. So um, we thank everybody for reaching out to us and sending us messages of love and hope and uh, compassion. We appreciate you. And for the rest of the night, we are going to laugh and talk and have fun and be inspired and bring something positive into our world again. So, without further ado, Michael. Yes. What do you do for inspiration? What do you find in everyday things? Is there something particular you'd like to say? Uh, once again, I'm going to refer to the exact same answer I used uh, previously. Um, when we talked about balance in life, I'm going to refer to coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I coffee, talk. coffee is inspiration. Coffee uh, is um, is coffee balance, is and, and, and keeping you regular as well. <laughs> and sometimes that's a lot of inspiration right there. Yeah, whenever you're like, man, I just got inspired to jump up and, and take off running. Uh, <laughs> but um, no, I think you know, I, I think a lot of things. <laughs> honestly, a good cup of coffee can make all the difference. So. Um, I, mean, oh, I, I, what, what, you know, what doesn't inspire us in some ways? Uh, being regular is very important. Angie Mason agrees. So, yeah. so. there you go. But, um, uh, I would, I, I, I would say just everything in life is inspiring. Uh, you know, sometimes even getting aggravated, uh, just, you know, we, we look at things in media. We were talking earlier about the you know the aspect that Tish had actually done a challenge from going uh, from an Android phone to an Apple product, using that for two weeks, and sometimes that inspiration that she had was she just wanted to give up. I mean, it was frustrating to her, and she had that inspiration to uh, go forth because she was doing it for Travis. Uh, she wanted to actually put forth, and you know. People, whenever you do something and you make a video, they could be very condescending. And they could say things like they didn't like the way you look. They didn't like the way you sound. They didn't, you know, I, I didn't like your content. And sometimes that could be very inspiring to go, well, you know what? Um, I, maybe I'll make some changes or maybe I'll look at things differently. 
But so, you also get, like, I read through, I can't say we read through all the comments so far on that video, because there's like almost 200 of them. But the majority of the people, I would say probably 95% of the people were like, I love this content. Thank you for doing it. I understand her point, but here's my side of the, you know, here's my side of the coin. And I was able to say, well, I'm, I'm grateful you were able to find that solution for you. But for me, this is what works. And technology yeah. is, you know, all about the user interface. It's not just about what's better, you know? And there, most of the mean comments were like, why didn't you just Google it? Why? Why didn't you just, you know, imagine getting emotional over a phone. It's like, imagine using your phone as part of your business and you're not able to use that part of your business for two weeks. Imagine Googling something, but not knowing the exact terminology that you need to use to find the solution to the problem that you're, you know, suffering from. I mean... Do you know how to Google the exact part, you know, to fix in your car? You know, yeah, do you, yeah, yeah. You know, so I didn't answer any of those because I am emotional, but it did inspire me to look deeper into um, getting an iPad and exploring that and um, using that as an art tool um, and an editing tool and you know, making designs on that for our merch and, you know, just that kind of thing. So from that struggle and from that pain came a lot of good things, you know, right. my friendship with Travis has grown stronger and I am so grateful for that because he's a wonderful human being. And, you know, I just, it was a good thing. Yeah, yeah, and uh, you know, I, I'm I'm gonna go ahead and <clears throat> I'm gonna hit this point now. You know, we're talking about Scout. Scout was my dog. I I adopted him back in March 2020, and you know, inspiration is the plain fact that uh, he inspired me to feel better about myself. Loss of my father, and I I you know I I look towards his uh, affection and unconditional love as being a lot of inspiration. And uh, once again, I mean, it, it comes from different directions. And um, and I, I can tell you right now, Christopher and I, we met uh, back in a, at a time when we were both working in consumer electronics and, and technology. And we were, you know, we sell the, the products that we're using now. We help people with those frustrations. And um, a lot of inspiration comes from the fact that when you're working together in that environment and you're you're challenged by technology, you find that inspiration, uh, you know, through each other. Uh, so, yeah, um, mm -hmm. you know, it's 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 something that every single day comes from a different direction. So. Yeah. How about you, Janice? What 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 little things in life have inspire you or um where do you look i think <clears throat> sorry okay. a lot of what what both of you are saying <clears throat> i i got this i can hold it together um both of what what both of you are saying is Everyday life, 100%. Um, it could be an event that happened. It could be talking to somebody. It could be a friend that even says, hey, my favorite color is purple. Um, an emotion that comes from them talking about their favorite color. Um, I'm one that it, there's there's nothing safe around me that's not going to be grabbed up and possibly used in a project. Um, I mean, everything around me inspired. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, even this paintbrush, I think, okay, I could add this to something. I could attach something to it. I mean, um, I get, I draw from 
people saying I love steampunk. You know, that's my heart. Um, a lot of the inspiration is everything's emotional because art is emotional. Everything we do to support your channel is emotional. Um, I don't put anything out unless something has, you know, pulled on my heartstrings. That's just, I mean, looking at a landscape, pulling colors from that. That's, that's just me. There's, like I said, the garage, everything in it is my area. It's going to come in and be used at some point. Right. Whether it, I take something apart to use the screws on it. So. <laughs> How about you, Mike? <laughs> I think mm -hmm. you can relate to her, to, mm -hmm. to her idea about taking things apart just to use the screws or just to use one element. Yes. Yeah. You took a car seat and made it into a little like ejection pod. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. I just I just see anything. Actually, my car is full of. I just went up to storage because it was like you remember I was doing like the uh, science fiction stuff before. Yeah. And then yeah. We, oh yeah. I stopped that for a little while. So when we started, I let Keely start, you know, doing up her art space. So I put all that in storage. Then right. she decided she wanted to do steampunk, which would Janice was talking about. So I was like, wow, you know, lots of that stuff that I put up, I could just repurpose and rip it apart and glue something else on it. So actually a couple hours ago, I was just up at storage and I have a whole car full of, you know, all that old stuff that I, I had from, you know, a couple months ago and just ready to repurpose it and everything and grab whatever little pieces of yeah. stuff you can find. Yeah, and some chrome over. spray paint, man. Anything, yeah. Yeah. make it chrome or gold or bronze, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. it, 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 it's so easy to, to switch that for us, you know, who have that creative mind. Now, if you don't have a creative mind like that, it may be more difficult for you. I mean, if you're more, you're more creative with, like, computers, you can build a computer from a bajillion bits and make it run in less than a day, I, I, I buy down to you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, that's yeah. a creativity above and beyond anything else that I could do. I mean, I just make stuff, you know? <laughs> so, but, um, I, I love that you're repurposing all that. I'm excited to see what you get out of the you know, out of the escape pod into the steampunk. I'm excited now. <laughs> a statue. Mike, Mike is really good about mashups and mm -hmm. it, they're just, it, it's good stuff. I mean, sometimes I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, oh my God. And then I just, I see what he does. I'm like, oh I, man, I hate him. He mm -hmm. just he comes up with such, <laughs> such, such good stuff. <laughs> like what did I think of that? Him. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Okay, Christopher, how about you? Do, do, what do you draw, inspire from, just from everyday experiences, everyday life? You know, and actually it struck me this morning. I was walking into work. <clears throat> so I carry mail for a living. And, uh, you know, I get a fairly early start. And I park my, my personal truck. And I walk down this long corridor of mail trucks. And there's about 60 of them. And uh, I just happened to look up, and in the sky, uh, there was a, a line of clouds, and directly over that was full moon, almost full moon. Uh, and it just it struck me how interesting that scene was to take in in that moment. Uh, and uh, I, I just forget to look up, and I think that's... Uh, you know, we get so busy in things, you know, our phones or in my case, hands full of mail. Uh, but uh, I like to just stop and, and look at the trees, look at birds, look at the sky. What are the clouds doing? And uh, it's it's really it's uh, very interesting what that does to your mind, to your body. You know, you just take a big, deep breath 
uh, and just take in a little bit of nature. And, uh, you know, in that moment, I just, I needed my camera. I needed uh, a piece of paper and a pencil. I needed a paintbrush. Like I needed something that I could capture that moment. And uh, of course I, you know, I didn't have anything. So I just had to kind of stand there and, and uh, take it in into memory as best as I could. But uh, yeah, so that's, that's my answer. It's just to look up and, uh, you know, kind of yeah. step away from all the things that, that keep us distracted. That's awesome though. I mean, you know, because you had that moment yeah. and, uh, and a lot of times that's exactly what art is. Art is just is capturing a moment. Mm. And, you know, if, if you capture it, by sketching it or photography or whatever. Sometimes it's just, you know, catching, being in the moment. And, or, uh, you, you know, using your words, you know, songs yeah. and, and yeah. you know, poetry. Po poetry, yeah. Mm -hmm. You yes. know, it's all about emotion and it's a, it's a beautiful art. Um, I don't know. I always go back to the movie uh, Contact with Jodie Foster and she was talking about, you know, she's taking that trip. She's like, they shouldn't have sent me. They should have sent a poet. To be able to describe oh. everything she was seeing. Mm. Right. Yeah. So. Okay to go. Okay to go. Okay to go. Yeah. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay to go. Yeah. The, the blind guy was like, I can, I can hear. Yeah. <laughs> She's okay. Yeah. It's a great movie though. I love it. I love that movie. I love that I movie. Love yeah. yeah. And, uh, you know, it's got uh, one of my all time favorite guys in it. Yeah. All right, all right, yeah. <laughs> Is that who was in that? I'm trying to think yeah, of who else was in I, that. I, I'm, so I'm, so, I'm, I'm sorry, Miss. I'm sorry, Mr. President. Didn't mean, didn't mean to show up late. Yeah, <laughs> you want me to take my shirt off? All right, all right. I thought you were gonna say uh, Gary Busey's son. Oh yeah, <laughs> Jake, Jake, Jake Busey Jake. was in that movie, wasn't he? He was, he was the crazy guy. Yeah, that was a good one, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, but that's true. <laughs> Either one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine McConaughey. I don't know if people ever watched his YouTube channel, but it's it's quite humorous. He's funny. <laughs> so, I, I, I st I'm still trying to get over the whole, you know, coffee inspiration, but then I'm like thinking about that. I'm like, when I make my first cu cup of coffee in the morning, whether I do a pour over or I use the Keurig, those are those moments when you're first like waking up and you're first like thinking about your day and thinking about what you want to accomplish with your day. And you just, I think that smell of that coffee awakens your spirit too. It can, at least for me, um, especially when I'm doing a pour over of some caribou or something really bold in, in flavor. Um, and I think one of the things that are, can be inspiring is cooking as well. Um, yeah, definitely. Because you have so many foods associated to emotions and a lot of people have an issue with emotional eating and um, have to try and find that line <laughs> between being healthy <laughs> and not letting your emotions decide what you eat. So, I mean, I love the smell of fresh baked cookies. You know, I think because I be, I became a baker because my grandmother baked. And that was one of the activities I got to do with her. So, and then baking is an art too, in a science. And so I think it's just, I think it all comes down to being able to tap into your emotions yeah. and your thoughts. So, yeah, you can see beautiful yeah. colors and foods. Yes. Yeah definitely and they change and yeah so i mean mike's a chef he knows what i'm talking about he's a bad, badass chef <laughs> he is a badass <laughs> no, it's like everyone else is a badass <laughs> i just like saying badass <laughs> it's just, 
fun. <laughs> yeah, That's definitely been a hobby that I have enjoyed uh, exploring in the last year year or so is cooking. I, I hated it. I hated cooking, hated spending any time at all preparing food. I just wanted to put food into my stomach and then go back to whatever <laughs> else I was doing. And uh, I've definitely cool. learned to appreciate the, uh, you know, the more finer points of preparing a meal and exploring new, new combinations of uh, flavors. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. I'm always yeah. experimenting. And the memories and the have this just the smell of food. It can just trigger a memory. And yes. Yeah. Yes. Ham. Yeah. Ancient yeah. Mexico ham. Yeah, <laughs> yeah my it can dad. Take, take you back to family, take you back to yeah. holidays and you know, times with friends. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Like Rat tattoo before making movie references. <laughs> oh, that's one of my favorites. <laughs> hey, Pixar oh. movies and and uh... I I, yeah. I don't know. Oh. I, was, I was gonna make some kind of Pixar movie mm -hmm. reference, but I think I'll just quit right now. <laughs> I was waiting for you. I I, I don't know. I, I, I'm, <laughs> Trying to give other people the chance to. Uh, <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why start now? <laughs> I'm going to transport yeah. myself to another planet here and, uh, in, a, in a different solar system. And, <laughs> Where's you know, the glitter in the glass of water? We'll just transport them out. Get, get on my starship. <laughs> on the. Starfart, USS Starfart. <laughs> it's a high class operation. It, high class, yeah. It runs. It runs off of methane. <laughs> Where are all the cows? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, 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 once again, inspiration from media is uh, we all love to watch YouTube, and um, we all enjoy uh, movies you know, and things out of movies. We've talked about this in, in one of the other get togethers on a Saturday night, you know, with doing shorts and content, you know, we see something in a movie and we get inspired to kind of take that and do a mashup of it. And uh, once again, that's, uh, that's the type of thing it's, it's imitation. And, you know, the saying is that's the, the best type of flattery is, is imitating someone. Absolutely. And, yeah. Um, so yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think that that's uh, that's it's a great way to get inspiration. Um, we have another Michael in the house. Yeah, yeah. I was just reading his comment there. Mike, yeah. Michael Pepper Tech says, "I love to just make make up things. I'm worse when I try and use recipe than when I throw things together." Anybody else feel the same? I definitely know Maybe. that when I use a recipe, that it's. <laughs> it's probably going to turn out right uh, <laughs> uh, if I read everything correctly. Uh, but I do like to just throw stuff together. Absolutely, it's yeah. fun to just see, you know, what you know, uh, this and this and this and this. Yeah. yeah, I like to eyeball it. Just throw it yeah. in. Cooking, yes. Cooking, I can just be like, I pour a little into my hand. And what are you doing? It looks like the right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting inspired. I'm play, playing with buttons. I was trying to do ventriloquism. <laughs> anyway, um... <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a great um, ventriloquist act. Yeah. <laughs> oh I'm talking and he's not moving his lips. What? Anyway, um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, for baking, I have to have a recipe or a formula just because of the science. But like things like, yeah. um, I used to be able to make like pancakes and quick breads and stuff like that just off a of memory because I made mm -hmm. them every week. Mm -hmm. um, now I need the recipe again. But um, when I'm cooking, yeah, it's just it's just me throwing shit in a pot. Basically. <laughs> it's yeah, that's what Bow Mama's eight says there. I'm just throw it in the pan kind of cook. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I was yeah. doing last weekend. Just throwing it in there. 
Oh, it looks like Sue joined us. Hello, Sue. Hello, Sue. And Bo Mama's here too. Awesome, awesome. Um, now I'm hungry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm hungry. I just had it. I had it. I made a smoothie today because my stomach's been upset. So I figured a smoothie would be the best thing for it. And because it's yogurt and almond milk and fruit and some protein powder and mm. so I get all the things I need. And uh, I just finished it like, <laughs> like a couple hours ago. So I wasn't hungry. But now we're talking about food. <laughs> and I was craving cottage cheese earlier today mm. and yesterday. And do, does anybody else just have certain foods that they always run to when they're stressed? I mean, I, emotionally eat? eating is one thing, but sometimes you just crave certain things. Yeah. Cottage cheese. Just like you said, that's so <laughs> funny. I had what I had for lunch. <laughs> I love cottage cheese. And it's, mm -hmm. you know, I like the whole milk, small curd yeah. cottage cheese. Just give me the whole bin. Because I'm going to eat it all. <laughs> but oh my God. I think it's kind of a comfort food for me now. But anyway. So funny. Am I just the only crazy person that craves certain foods? Anything with sugar. Just give me <laughs> all of the sugar. Just give me the jar of sugar. <laughs> <laughs> You, yeah. you, will, you will control the world. <laughs> exactly. <Yeah. Yes>. Yeah. <laughs> you won't sleep for a week. No, I won't. I'll be yeah. <laughs> I'll be in a coma because I ate it all. <laughs> Seems like there was some kind of a like a, a superhero, supervillain type of thing. The supervillain was going to control the sugar of the world. And I'm Pinky trying to think in the brain. Was. Pinky in the brain. That was one of their, oh, their yeah. plans control, controlling control sugar. The world. Yeah. <laughs> or something else, yeah. uh, but uh, I yeah. think yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, man, I watch that show all the time, and I just don't remember it. Other than I Point and that Narf, one. that's about all I remember. We do it every night. <laughs> I don't remember much else than that. Take over the world. Yeah. Uh, I read and, uh, it Stampy. Yeah. No, and <laughs> Stampy. Stampy. <laughs> and and it, and it goes full to me. That's great. <laughs> what, what what what's there we go. Okay. Um no, I, you know, we get inspiration from when we were younger, uh, you, things that we watched as kids that we think, Hey, you know what? Uh, once again, we're making content, we're making videos, uh, where we're, uh, inspired by different shows that we watched, you know, especially within cartoons and superheroes and science fiction and fantasy and so on and so forth. There's a lot of great stuff out there. You know, some of the stuff Christopher and I talk about is we find people that they take movies like um, I found something with Star Wars uh, back uh, not too long ago. And it's, you know, 1977 Star Wars episode four, the new hope, however you want to put it. And they took the scene with Darth Vader and Obi-Wan Kenobi. And it was when they were having their lightsaber duel. And these guys redid the, the whole scene. They like did it to where it was, you know, faster paced and a lot more action. And uh, it, you know, it's amazing sometimes when you come across something like that, because you think, you know, that was a movie I loved as a kid and I was inspired. And then you see someone take it and they try to enhance it. And so uh, it's, it's kind of inspiring. And yeah. Diane is asking, what are the doodles? Zoodles. 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 They make, um, you can go ahead. No, go ahead. The little, it's just making, instead of like using pasta, like zucchini squashes and that, you can, it's got a little, it's like a grater, except it kind of spiralizes it. 
So you, you twist it so it makes these noodles out of like zucchini and so you're not eating a lot of pasta uh, or a lot of flour mm -hmm. and gluten or whatever they say, you know, it's bad for you. And um, you don't really have to cook it too much. You, you just take it and warm it up a little, toss your sauce on it. Um, kind of like mm -hmm. spaghetti squash. I don't know if y'all have had that. Mm -hmm. Love it. Love it. That's a yeah. good idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know if Michael go for that. <laughs> what zucchini? Zucchini, 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 zucchini noodles? Like, noodles? like either zucchini raw noodles. or they they just do the zucchini up like that and toss it their red sauce on it, you know, without without cooking it, and you know it's kind of refreshing. It's a little different, or you can warm up the noodles a little, and you toss your sauce on, but it's like zero carbs, and except for your you know whatever sauce you're putting on top of it. I would I would like to try it with just like a a balsamic vinegar and like onions and like maybe chunks of tomato. Yeah. It, you know, something really simple that you just kind of toss together. Yeah. But maybe some cheese, some freshly grated parmesan cheese. So cover it in cheese, you're good. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's it. Shredded <laughs> cheese. Just Shred that though. cheese and here we go. We're, we're set. Yeah. Yeah, we feed? almost have that 10 pound bag of shredded cheese that you got at, <laughs> at Sam's Club. I tell you what, I came across <laughs> that. It was like it was like finding the holy grail. It's like 10 pound bag. Yeah. That's like, I've He's never been happier. Like, Look, babe, <laughs> I got some cheese. Uh, yeah. It's like, Oh my God! That the, way sky, the skies the opened up. Sun was coming down. I heard angels singing. Yeah, yeah. like ah, uh, it's like oh wow. I was like, like yeah, oh. in Costco, I saw a bag of cheese, and it was like ten bucks or something. I'm like, ah, oh, it's a good deal. I went and grabbed it. And when I went, like Tish said, like three more bags came with it. They were like, holy <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> this could take me a year to buy. <laughs> Oh, not in this house. That bag is almost gone, and that was like less than two weeks ago. So. Jesus, Jesus, why he needs coffee? So, yeah, <laughs> that's that's exactly it. That, uh, once again, the inspiration is I uh, need the coffee to counteract the cheese, and uh, I, keeping your balance. Yeah, it's a, that's balance right there. You know. Cheese, coffee, yeah. Cheese and coffee, yeah. We need to get more more salads eaten in our life. But I need to go find out who Logan uses, who Logans use for their balsamic vinaigrette because that stuff was really good, like mm. really good. And because uh, I've had somewhere it was just really, I don't know, like dry almost. I don't know how uh, it yeah. just it just wasn't right. But this was really good. The only thing you didn't needed was a little bit more pepper in it or something like that. Mm. To add a little spice. Mm -hmm. So um I don't know. I want to start getting into making our own mayonnaise because it's healthier that way. But I'm not gonna hand whip mayonnaise. I did that in culinary school. It's <laughs> what egg yeah. and what and what else? Uh, egg yolk, egg yolk right? oil, and a little bit of lemon juice or vinegar. Okay, okay. Do you have a magic bullet? Mm -mm. Uh, I want to get an immersion bowl. blender, but is that yeah, one of those. Uh, what is that? A, is that an adult sex toy? <laughs> <laughs> it is. It but be, it it is be, but... that you? Is that used in cooking? <laughs> 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 Now that is ins that's inspiration. I'm telling you, this guy comes up with the best mashups. Yeah. So and, and it goes in the dishwasher and everything. So is dishwasher safe? I, yeah. are, is it rechargeable? Toys are yeah. A lot of those toys are dishwasher this one, safe. This one <laughs> plugs in and it, it never stops. So it takes an iCAD battery. Yeah. That's the one I <laughs> Is endorsed by Tish. <laughs> I didn't say that. I just said I need it. Oh, oh ridiculous! But that you can make oh, small portions. Yeah. Michael started. And it. just you can, you can just put it. You can just put the stuff in the cup and you screw the little blade on the top, and it just yeah. I've mm, seen them. I just, just don't like have one. I have a Michael oh, okay. bought us 
and I was so happy, like elated. He got us a Vitamix, and we've got the big sixty. I think it's sixty ounce. Yeah, you can make like a gallon of mayonnaise. Sixty ounce thing, and then we've got a smaller forty ounce one. Go with all the cheese. But today, I, I wanted to know. I, I get. I need to do some more research and see if they have something like a little bullet size. Because I eat a lot of mayonnaise. I make a lot of salads and stuff. Um, mm. Like pasta salads and stuff. At least I used to. I haven't done it so much now. Because I'm. But that zucchini thing made me start thinking. Hey, mm -hmm. I can use the zucchini. Some pepperoni. Throw some cheese in there. Some tomatoes. Some onions. You know, and make it colorful and throw some mayonnaise on it and bingo, bango, bongo. Phil's your uncle. Yeah. Yeah. Bob's out. Phil's in. <laughs> yeah, Bob's out. <laughs> He's so 1990s. Yeah. We're over him. Yeah. Oh, I my Phil. <laughs> the inspiration. Thank you, Bo Mama. Manny's cake, yes. Yeah. What is Manny's cake? I've never heard of that. Um, you moist. take a, instead of using um, the oil for a cake mix, you use mayonnaise instead. Oh, okay. And, and instead of you, you want to take it up an even more of a notch, you take an instead of uh, the liquid, like the water, use, use flat Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Ooh. And chocolate cake. Yeah. Huh, okay. It's so good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still, yeah, I'm still at the, uh, I can make a box of brownies. Hey. Uh, that's the level that's that I'm at. That's better than a lot of guys I know. So, you know. Well, I should speak better for myself. I can make a pumpkin pie and I can make a good pumpkin pie, but that's about the only thing I can bake that I'm proud of. <laughs> <laughs> cookies. If you want to bake cookies, good cookies, unless they're, uh, um, like a chiffon uh, or cake batter type cookie, like chocolate chip cookies or peanut butter cookies or oatmeal cookies, always refrigerate your dough. Mm. Always. For at least at least four or five hours. Best if overnight. You'll get the, the best results from doing that. You They won't spread out and they'll stay, you know, nice and thick and chewy. Gotcha. And, gotcha. Yeah. And finding the best combination of butter and shortening that is one of my downfalls. I fall upon shortening a lot, and I'm not supposed to have soy. <laughs> and that's what shortening is. So I'm going to see if I can find lard and start kind of trying to nibble that into my baking instead of shortening. Because the thing with shortening is, is it, it keeps things soft. So mm, when, sure. like, the third day you go to break a cookie in half, if you have the ratios right and you didn't overbake it, you should be able to still break that cookie in half without it having crumbles all over. So that's my little hacks for baking. Cool. Looking at the ethical um, section in the store, like where the Mexican food and stuff, sometimes they put lard over there. Yeah, I didn't even think. I know, I know Walmart carries it um, in the baking section. It's just every time I've gone there, they're out. Mm. So yeah, they, I, I don't know, know. I had seen it recently. A shortage, <laughs> you know. Yeah, I don't know. But, there was like a run on like just ramen soup or something up here. My kids like that, but yeah. um, every store I went in, it was like they were all out, like all the different brands and everything. I was like, "What the hell?" And it's you know, all the other stuff is in the stores. Like ramen was like gone. I was like, <laughs> "Did everyone panic and say, let me go grab the last thing of ramen?'" <laughs> I, well, it, it, Helen just said to roll your cookie dough in saran wrap and refrigerate, and then you cut it like store bought. Yep, done that too. Yep. yep. Or I take my cookie my scoop. Toll House. Yeah. yeah. Toll House. I took the Toll House recipe and I modified mm -hmm. it. Did you? I can imagine. It's much good. better now. <laughs> I don't make cookies too it, often, it but I do make energy bites quite regularly. Have you ever made those? Like the like the no bake cookies, where it's like peanut butter and oatmeal and that kind of thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Flaxseed. Nice. Yeah, yeah, honey. 
yeah. Right. I make those. I make usually make a thing of those at least once a week. Yeah, and, them and then recovery night. pudding. Yeah. I I would definitely be on the toilet after that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank I, you, Peter I, Griffin. I, I, yeah. I was, I, <laughs> <laughs> That's that's inspiring right there. It's very inspiring, yes. Oh my god. It was so moving. Uh. Oh, this sounded kind of like Stewie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, oh you guys. Can't take him anywhere. You guys. God. Hey, you guys. Well, now I feel that I'm glad Janice came because otherwise I'd be outnumbered. <laughs> There'd be too now, many fart jokes. Now you, yeah, now you know how I feel. Yeah, all those times I was the only guy. I was like, oh. I know. And that's like, I, I, just I sit can't here say and... anything because, you know, <laughs> Michael's outnumbered eight to one. <laughs> 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 Oh, vegan mm -hmm. chocolate cake. That would be actually interesting. Because how you make a chocolate cake without butter or eggs? Yeah. No tofu. I can't have tofu because it's soy. Uh -oh. So I like my eggs and butter. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> well, don't let the vegans know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I can't. I, I really, <laughs> I work. My boss at work is. A, I found out last week is a vegan, but she's a cool vegan. She's a cool vegan. Because I said you're not going to get mad at me because I eat animals, and she's like, "No, I'm going to go get mad at you. I might be a little sad." I'm like, "Well, I'm a little sad that you don't, because <laughs> because you know we we kind of need that protein." So, yeah. um. But she's she's very nice. She's not one of those cycle vegans. <laughs> Poor Mike. I beat you over the head with a with a carrot. Poor Mike. <laughs> I just I feel yeah. so bad for him that I had to deal with all that. It's like good I God. I, st I still do. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. <sighs> that was uh, what do you yeah. call? It? I grew something in a bunch of uh, you know, like the almond breeze comes in a. Uh, jug now that used to just yeah. come in little cartons and yeah. i planted a bunch of shit in them uh, uh, like a lot of them so it was one of my mm -hmm. videos it's an older video but somebody still finds it you know youtube i don't know why youtube they know that vegans get upset about eggs milk cheese anything and this is a friggin milk jug and they're showing it to people watching mm -hmm. vegan stuff you know my eggs you know they're, they're it's like they do it on purpose or something you know you know they don't like it and they're why are you suggesting it to these people and i still get people like just saying like who drank all that milk you're that cancerous this stomach cancer bubble and all this stuff and i was like you know well not that it's any of your business but you know it was almond breeze but you know, it did take me years to take all the milk, duh. Yeah, so, yeah, they still. <laughs> I was like, or, yes, they... we milk we milk the hell out of those poor almonds. Those bad almonds, <laughs> and, yeah. And, and, yeah. And Helen, anyway. if you're vegan, we love you. We're not. Yeah. We we just we're picking on the people that are very mean about it, and uh, you've <laughs> never been mean about it. That's and good. Respect your yeah. choice. Helen's a sweetheart. So. Okay. Yes, Helen is an absolute wonderful woman, and I, I, I mean no disrespect, but when you, I get attacked <laughs> because I make a comment, <laughs> they, they, they come at you, attack you, and then they block you, so you can't yeah. even have a, a, a rebuttal a conversation with these yeah. people. It's not that I'm trying to sway you to eat meat. I'm just saying this is how I eat meat, and I eat, try and eat as ethical as ethic happy Clean. as I can. Yeah. <laughs> I can't I can't I can't talk tonight, I guess. Um <laughs> I'm just I'm reading the chat and I wanna I wanna know what it's like when somebody farts like a howitzer. <laughs> 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 or maybe I don't. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Who's farting like a howitzer? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bobo, <it's> <laughs> 
con- concussive blast. Oh, okay. <laughs> I would assume. <laughs> that's that's inspiration oh, right my there. Gosh. That yeah. is inspiration. Yeah. Sure. Definitely. Inspiration. Yeah. Colin, oh my god. Mushroom cloud coming out of a bunch of plants. <laughs> put it Helen's in a jar. Not a vegan, put, yeah. You know, we need Julie here, okay. you know, to yeah. talk about her new channel that she's gonna part <laughs> in a jar. And, okay. And then, I just do I wanted to make sure, Helen, because I don't want yeah. <laughs> I don't want to anybody. Thing. We can all Did love you? Apple, we can all love Android, and we can all just love each other. Damn it. Yes. 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 <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Mm. I, I I did get to talk to Brooke today. That was inspiration. Good. Yeah. Just remembering that that time in our life when, when life was normal and you know, pre <laughs> pre weirdness of the world. And yeah. you know, going to a bar and having chips and salsa and margaritas and not having to worry about wearing a mask and yeah, you know, I have a mask that says "Be grateful" on it, and because it's a fat, and I did my own uh, vinyl cutout on my silhouette and I pressed it on there on some fabric masks that we got at Walmart or someplace. And a lot of people just stare at me, you know, and it's just like, what, if I'm going to wear a mask, I'm going to make it mine. (laughs) You know, I'm going to make it something, you know, be grateful that you're standing upright because it could be worse, you know, so. Right. So. That's cute. Inspiration. You find find inspiration to to help other people, too. (laughs) Because who knows? Maybe people need to be be grateful for what they have. I know I am. And you know. Yep. Yeah. So yep. Yep. Amen, sister. Well, I think it goes back to what I said earlier, looking up just not getting mired in all the little things that we so fixated on that become so important in the big scheme of things don't matter at all yeah yeah i agree i I, that's where we need to stop and and appreciate those little things and and just uh, we think about the galaxies and and where we're at in the scheme of life and how insignificant you know, a lot of things are, and we take problems and we blow them out of proportion and make them bigger than what they are. We, we need to actually in, be in, inspired to be grateful. And, you know, uh, just like, you know, Chris is saying, you look up into the skies, you see the wonder of the clouds and the, you know, just the majesty of that. And, you know, let that be inspiration, you know, find something in the clouds, uh, see, you know, see what you see. And if you see a dragon or if you see something that you can relate to, you know, let, let that inspire you. Let that be a good feeling. Hell, let, you know, let your smile be inspiring to someone. Yeah. And, um, it, it, it's, you know, cause you never know what's going on in someone's heart in someone's mind, what they're dealing with. And, you know, just that consideration, I think just a, a, a bright spot to anybody can just be you smiling at them and um and recognizing them and it's almost in a way of saying like hey you know i i understand you, you could be going through a lot of pain i don't know but you know um i want to give you a smile and um i there there's so many times that i i get caught up in things and um my heart's heavy and um dealing with pain and stress, but uh, um, I, I, I think that the, the blessing of everything is just is being able to stop and take a moment and finding inspiration. And, uh, yeah. and then just saying, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna pull myself up, I'm gonna get back on the horse, I'm gonna, you know, 
I'm going to weather through this. Yeah, it's good. It's really good. And, you know, Michael says a smile. For me, it's someone who recognizes that I'm walking in a door behind them and holds the door for me. Yeah. To me, that is like one of the biggest things because some people, so many people are so focused on themselves and what they're doing and, you know, they're not even paying attention that you're one step behind them, which is bad for them because what if I was a robber? <laughs> you know, be more observant of your surroundings, but, you know, just holding a door open for people, you know, yeah. could could make someone feel like you notice them and you see them and you don't even need to say anything. A smile holding the door, you know, stepping out of the way while they're pushing their cart through, you know, in a, in a shopping, you know, shopping situation, just little things, little, little moments of kindness mm -hmm. can inspire a person to do the same thing for someone else, you know, pass it on kind of thing. So pay it forward. Yeah, exactly. A lot of times songs, yeah. you hear a song, inspiration will come. Mm -hmm. You know, something that, uh, that you listen to in your youth or just something maybe that you you had with your family. Uh, you know, even spending time in church and, and, and being with different uh, groups where we would sing together together. Um, I know a lot of times I could hear a song and I could think of a time when we all would get together and go singing. And, um, yeah, you know, that's, yeah. it's very inspirational. It's very moving. Yeah. 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 I agree with everything Tish said, like about holding the doors and everything, except for the shopping cart thing. Cause I'm like the demolition derby and I'll, <laughs> you saw, you must give the Michael. Because Michael's the same way. It's like, honey, you want to push the cart? Yeah. <laughs> my my thing is is that I always try to park the car somewhere. I like I want to I want to put it somewhere in whatever aisle that's going to be the least path of resistance, where no one else is going to come around. I'm like. Nobody's going to come over here. Nobody's going to want this. And there's and always somebody out. that comes like, they, they start coming up to me. And it's like, do you, do you need in here? It, 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 it's like, I, I, you know, it's like, uh, I, I don't want to be in your way. I, if you're looking for, you know, cream of spinach, I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't know. Let me get the, let me get my cart out of the way. And, you know, what you got to do is you just... You, Michael just, is like the weirdo attractor, though. Yeah, it is. It's like I got a weird, it's like I got a weirdo attractor magnet. Like, right, right, stuck inside of me. Lower. And I don't know. It's like it's stuck on my back. It's like a sign that says, hey, kick me in the ass. And, and, then, and, that's, and here they come. Because you know? it's for real. It's like, a, it's like a cosmic force. I'm like a weirdo black hole. They, yes. just, right. just, That's exactly right what you are. <laughs> yeah. You are and a weirdo they, black they, hole. They come, they, they come for me. Gravitate. <laughs> I must be their god because they're 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 you know. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Yeah. Like, speak speak to us, master. Speak to us. It's like okay, get the hell away from me. That's my first order of business. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I, I, I hate going shopping God. with him. I, oh my God! <laughs> oh Anymore, my I just I used to I used to think it was great. Now I'm just like, dear Lord, have mercy. Dear I, Lord, help us all. I didn't bring a gun. Oh, what am I gonna do? Like, good Lord, find feel... a baguette and beat him off with it. <laughs> Hard French roll. Hey, excuse me. Do you have day old bread? Maybe five day old bread and a French roll. Well, my Something they still have it on their show. <laughs> do you have a hardware section where I could get a, camp, a hammer or uh, something? Yeah, do, do you guys sell power tools? I'm gonna need propane and propane accessories. I, I need something. Oh I need whatever Mike, Mike was talking about. I need oh. the power egg. 
Yeah. <laughs> Woo. Yeah. Woo. My table. <laughs> Trying to sit up Not straight. Cheese. Don't use the cheese. The cheese. <laughs> the cheese. With with cheese. <laughs> It's not cheese whiz. Pounds of cheese are going to go down. No cheese whiz. Man, and no that's, I, just, I need just a big 10 pound bag of cheese and just knock them upside the head with that cheese. <laughs> just a, cheese, a big old cheese log. A block of Elvita. The block of Elvita. <laughs> oh in either God. hand. Just, that's right. Yeah. Put it in a sock. <laughs> Swirling Velveeta. That sounds like a great channel. I'm inspired now. Hi. Hi, I'm Mike, and I'm going to swirl my cheese. <laughs> <laughs> this time, I'm swir I'm swirling Gouda. Woo! You could uh, collab with uh, Julie, too. And Julie, yeah. yeah. I'm going well, to swirl his cheese, and then we're going to put it on Julie's big toe. Yeah. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> This cheese is uh, gonna stink no matter God. what. <laughs> See, that would what be Gargonzola. Gargonzola. That'll be like your channel, and you'll get a million views. And all of us have been like working our ass off for years. And be like, what the hell? <laughs> it, isn't that, isn't that so? I mean, yeah. It's like, oh man, it, you know, hell, I'll, I'll be on Good Morning America. So today <laughs> we're watching. That would be this your channel. Like, uh, channel blow up. Be because he's, You'll be yeah. like, yeah, there's Gouda cheese and smoke. <laughs> <laughs> and Colby Jack and, and American and Swiss. Shrimp, and shrimp, 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 shrimp cheese. Exactly. <laughs> and uh, goat cheese. Oh, my God. I guess that's about it, Force. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Bubba Gump oh. Yeah. Trey has joined us. <laughs> Hello, Trey. Hey, Trey. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> <sighs> hey, I'm Helen. I'm so glad my sis doesn't eat cheese. It's all mine. All eight pounds for you. <laughs> <laughs> you, you and me, girl. You and me. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, okay. Now my tummy hurts from laughing so hard. Oh, that's a good pain to have, though. Got to work those abs. <laughs> I still say laughing is better than doing sit-ups. That's right. <laughs> Because if you saw me try and do a sit-up, you'd laugh. That's <laughs> <laughs> another channel. Yeah, that's another channel. <laughs> Just all sorts of inspiration tonight. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Write this stuff down. Can we have someone swirling cheese while someone else is doing sit-ups? Like simultaneously. Yeah, I think that's Maybe a not. I think that's a summer Olympic event. If I'm not mistaken, <laughs> I have to check on that. Or is that too much? Yeah, that's yeah. too much inspiration. Yeah, <laughs> Helen, no, I roll out of bed. I don't sit up. I, I, I roll. <laughs> Our bed is like three feet off the ground, so I've got plenty of room to time before I hit the floor to get my feet on the floor. <laughs> Jumping out of an airplane. Kind of. No parachute. Oh, <laughs> I goodness. wish I did. <clears throat> oh, goodness. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sounds like <laughs> something off that show Fear Factor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what it, Buried oh, to your neck. And and you have cheese. to sit up to eat them. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's bad. I like that. <laughs> I we, like have, we have such informative people in the chat. We always <laughs> learn so something. Creative. Yes. Oh my goodness. Yeah, could be another channel too, or part of it. 
I'm not very <laughs> motivated to do sit-ups, so you just, you're not gonna down. I'm going to do like this. I'm going to put nachos on this TV tray, and then I have to sit up to grab one. <laughs> sit up. Stay tuned. <laughs> Matter of fact, Christopher and I were talking about the movie Napoleon Dynamite <laughs> and his, Napoleon's brother, uh, Chet, you know, making nachos. He's taking that cheese grater and, and shredding the cheese on those nachos. Napoleon, don't be don't be jealous of me. I've been talking to hot babes all day. Yeah. <laughs> Eating eat nachos. Eating nachos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Don't make me a quesadilla. Quesadilla. Dang it. <laughs> what, are we supposed to, what are we supposed to eat? Dang it, Napoleon. Make you say a quesadilla. <laughs> tots. <laughs> hey, hey, can I have your tots? <laughs> have you ever done any sweet jumps? <laughs> but my lips hurt real bad. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Go to, go, use stupid. the nurses. <laughs> that was oh Good, stuff. Good stuff. <clears throat> that movie is ridiculous. <laughs> be so dumb and so funny all at the same time. <laughs> Plenty of room to put uh. it in my nunchucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Or when he was trying the time machine. Oh, <laughs> came back to me I with like a nice bag on. Him. <laughs> Hi, Keely. <laughs> I, that's that's what Hi, I want to do. I I just I want to see the guy that's making those, making the time mm. machines. It's like okay, so I think if I if I take this rod and you stick it between your legs, <clears throat> and, and and squeeze in tight where it's tied into your crotch. Yeah, and then throw that switch. Mm. Yeah. Go. That's gonna work. That's gonna take me back in time. I think that's gonna filter a pot. That is. It's gonna take me back to my youth. You know, getting smacked right in the balls. Yeah, that's that's it right there. So I did kick a guy in the balls once. Ooh. Just okay. <laughs> FYI. Just once. Okay. I, I know that's a sensitive area, so I don't go there very often. <laughs> you know, know, when it comes to, but he called, he called me a bitch. He deserved it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you go, girl. And he was too far away for me to, to slap, and I have really long legs, and I knew that I could hit him. <laughs> so I did. <laughs> <laughs> Did he say, I'm sorry? <laughs> he didn't say much of anything for about Yeah. He said, Tina, Tina, come eat some ham. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh. I felt really bad after. Yeah, I've never been kicked, fortunately, but I did take a hockey puck. Oh, that'd be worse. Grade. Yeah. I've been and, you know, we were in fifth puck. grade, so it wasn't like there was a lot of heat behind it. So, fortunately <laughs> for me. Still, they hurt. I've had them in my, I've gotten them in the shins and like on the outside of my leg, on my, on my thigh. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't great, but. <laughs> <laughs> There was a guy that was playing baseball and he was playing first base and the guy was trying to bunt and it didn't quite go right and it beeline straight for the guy and hit him straight in the balls. It was, mm. oh, so, oh. I, uh, ironically, he caught it. <laughs> he like, glove there. With his balls? But, <laughs> well, he put his uh, uh, and, he it it? Hit, and then he fell to the ground. <laughs> and he, all he did was lift up his glove while he's on the ground. 
Just say the Empire is dead. Just say this is starting to sound like a Leslie Nielsen film. (laughs) God, yeah. (laughs) I, 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 I'm grateful for Mother Nature, God, whoever built us, science that girls' balls are internal. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. It still hurts, but I can't imagine. I just can't imagine. No. I, you know, I, I was playing with Scout once and we were just roughhousing it. And yeah, he put a paw right right in my balls. And I I saw stars. Yeah. All the, like everything you see behind me. Yeah, it was like that, except a lot worse. And, uh, but yeah, I, 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 that's the last time I can remember. I don't know how many times I've gotten, you know, hit in the crotch or just something accidentally, uh, you know. I, I remember in martial arts, uh, and and this has nothing to do with um, uh, the crotch. But we were sparring. We would we would pair up and do different sparring. And and this kid, um, he he had some uh, uh, auditorial issues, and he had hearing aids. And I just did this maneuver where I brought my gloves up and I like hit him on either side of his head, and I hit him so hat so hard yeah, that. He, even with the headgear, his hearing aids, both of them popped out and, and flew across the mat and just started bouncing and, and they kind of went off and they were buzzing. And I felt bad. I felt really bad. But uh, then later I was like, man, I hit this guy so hard. I knocked his hearing aids out. So, <laughs> <laughs> so <but> I was... <laughs> I was still in high school, and I just thought that was really cool. It was kind of, kind of stupid, actually. But... <laughs> I think we all have things from high school at the time yeah. we thought we were super cool about, but now we look back and realize how absurd that was. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. I have lots of those things. I remember the guy's name that I kicked. His name was Eric Wenschlag, and he was the principal's son. <laughs> <laughs> and he called me a bitch because I wouldn't go out with him. <laughs> and you, and you, it was like seventh grade. And you I kicked him. You kicked him right in in the in the nards. Wow. Well, he the, did he you just? He wouldn't leave me alone. And then he really wanted to go out with you. Oh yeah, he did. <laughs> he didn't. It didn't stop him. <laughs> he like, still kept hitting on me, and I'm like, dude, kinda, you kind of liked it. Friends. <laughs> Challenge. Oh my god! It's like, can you do it again? <laughs> I just, you know, mm. some people just don't get the hint. <laughs> I mean, I know I'm awesome, but you know, I can only give so much of myself to so many people. <laughs> so. Well, that sounds pretty damn inspiring to me. Yeah, inspiration. <laughs> inspiration. I don't know where he's at now. That's the funny thing. Time, time to hydrate. <laughs> oh, bye. You're drinking coffee this late. We got issues. <laughs> <laughs> it's cold, it's cold coffee. Yeah. Cold Panera coffee. <sighs> So is anybody yeah. working on anything? Anybody got to any inspiring stories? Yeah. Well, we've been working on that mud room, definitely. Yeah. You've been. Yeah. I was going to say it looks a lot different. <clears throat> I'm going to yeah. work on getting some more coffee. <laughs> oh, geez. We're going to have issues there, too. Good Lord. They're going to be up all night talking to each other. <laughs> <laughs> but, um. No, I, yeah. I uh, bleached out some canvas, and we're gonna put. I'm gonna put canvas on the wall, so it's a, a whitish background. Yeah, and yeah, it's we'll look gonna cool. look so yeah. cool. Yeah, we'll have that. Yeah, looking totally different. Yep. Than what it did. It's no. not that I don't like. All my all my stuff wood. is gone. Yeah, all his. No, not all of it. There's still one basket in here. Oh. <laughs> but <laughs> one basket. And I packed it all up nice and neat and mm-hmm. treasure, just like treasure should be, because it's all Michael's yeah. treasures. Oh. Um, and then once 
that wall's done, then I can start maneuvering stuff around, get lighting. It's just this wood paneling is really hard to light because mm -hmm. it's got that orangish, yeah. orangish cast to it. So I'm like, well, what's a cheap way that I can cover that up without painting it? Because I didn't want to have to prime it and spend $300 in paint. Plus, Michael probably didn't want me to paint it anyway. But so I'm like, I'll just get canvas drop cloths. And I, I got two canvas drop cloths for like less than $30. And um, I spent... <laughs> I need to go to Walmart and buy us some more bleach, babe. Because <laughs> I used pretty much all of what we had in the laundry cupboard. <laughs> but it's going it to look good. Cool. It's going to look really cool, and I'm really excited. So, That's two cool. new That's good, uh... babies. Oh, so cool. I love babies. <laughs> Don't want oh. any. She's no. been making blankets. Yeah. Awesome. Well, uh, this might be a good time to, do, unless anyone else has anything to say, to say good night. Maybe wrap this. Uh, this. Are you, I have a question for Mike. Are you going to be uh, videoing when you do your upcycling of your stuff? that you had yeah um i haven't really decided yeah i think we might and i might either we're still working on if keely might put it on her channel she's got a channel that says art with keely b and she might mm -hmm. change that to like redoing the all of that and, and janice when we do get our steampunk stuff going we'll do a collab or whatever yay yeah, be awesome. be cool. and yay. uh so yeah, so well yeah, it's we're actually gonna film it all and document it, but I don't know if you know they keep saying just put content out, just put it out. Right. And, uh, I think that's basically, you know, if you if you're new and you've never done it before and you know, you should just go ahead and <laughs> You know, maybe put some you out. You are the only content creators on here. So <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh you know, since, you know, I've been doing this for years and, and I actually know, you know, what you should do. And, and I don't, I don't need another channel. I'm going to spend a little time helping Keely, like get hers going. Mm -hmm. uh, she's working on like two or three channels herself. Um, wow. I'm thinking of filming it, having it edit videos, you know, not put it out. And then when I get ready, schedule them like one every two or three days and, and just schedule it and, and have it start running and have like months worth of videos just, you know, built up because that's something that's kind of, it's, it's a I process. think it's a little evergreen. Yeah. You know, and people are, you know, steampunk's been around a while. They might still be looking for it. It's not going to, you know, just, oh, yeah. it's not something that's like trending. And then, you know, I save up videos for a year and, and it's not trending anymore. So, right. you know, just the, the arts and crafts and just making things and, um, you know, so we're going to do each part, make videos and not be in a hurry to, you know, just drop a bunch of them. So I might just have fun, like the little snippets that I put out, you know, once in a while, I just get a creative bug and just have to do something and, you know, just put something out there, you know, whether people see it or not, it's, it's just fun. And, and uh, um, well, so we I was. I was just going to say um, Dragon Con is Labor Day weekend. So if you start like doing videos about steampunk okay. stuff now, even like I'm even mm -hmm. thinking about the costumes for May and um, which is what is it called? Fan Con or something like that, Michael? Um, oh, in St. Louis. In St. Louis. Yeah. It used to be part of Wizard World. And it was Wizard Con. Uh, it's something different now. Uh, yeah, yeah. I can't remember off the top of my head. Oh, but Fan it's still... Expo or something. I don't yeah. remember what yeah, it's called. It. But, yeah. Um, I'm working on a steampunk costume for that. And cool. yeah. And because um, I made a skirt and I have a bodice from when I work at Renaissance Festival, I'm just going to dye it all black. And mm -hmm. um, 
but the skirt is made out of old silk neckties and it looks really cool because they've all got oh, the, point right. at the bottom of the skirt and so i just need to add a few more components to it um and go with the steampunk vibe um but like for dragon con there were a lot of steampunk i was amazed at how much steampunk stuff there was there's even i think there's even a panel for steampunk and and like the futuristic kind of stuff um so or maybe it was well, steampunk well, on the sci-fi panel i don't remember i remember seeing it i remember seeing panels about it it was just at the same time of other panels that we wanted to go to so we went to the other ones which i'm grateful for because those were really cool i mean meeting a real life spy that was awesome <laughs> <laughs> Once in a lifetime opportunity to mm -hmm. fix the brain, you know, but yeah. um, I would, you know, definitely give people inspiration and, and you'll, you know, you'll get, I know both of you are super creative. So um, I think That'd you'll inspire. Lot, lots of it. I'm thinking of uh, like, we were all talking about like uh, stories and like, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and like mashups and all of this. So, a lot of the stuff like the things that I'm putting together, it's not random. It's all part of like a like a really big like story or episodic thing. And so, um, yeah, I might put little tidbits in that out, but, you know, just having fun, like, you know, everything we do will be a character development or something. And it might not seem like anything at the moment, but in the back of my head, I've got like this storyline, kind of like you got this, you know, your little you know, right. story that's been bugging you and itching you for a while, you know, it's, so um, it's just, it's just fun. And it's, it's nice to, you know, have something you can be creative at, like I said, because the other stuff that you do, you know, to make money and, you know, right. you work, you know, it's just like the grind every, you know, however many days a week you work, you know, I, I work almost every day, but, you know, so having a little creative outlet is, is, is fun. And it Keely wants to get in on it. So, you know, that's makes it even better because it's when you're a creator, you know, you have work. Usually you husband and wife are working at different things. And then if we're all coming out and, um, you know, she's got her channels, I've got my channels and, and you're not really, you know, working too much together. So this will give us something in common to, to work on. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's really cool that you guys um found something that you love to do together that's that's really yeah. cool that yeah. you're i love her video the one where you were her producer i love that one of hers oh, you did. yeah it's when she was first starting to get into it and and she doesn't didn't want to get on or anything and you know i kept saying you know make a channel make a channel i said you you're like 100 times more talented than you know me and we need two channels did. Monetize, you know, so get get to work. Get so, to yeah, work. Appreciate you, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> I can't get her to stop working. Yeah, yeah. We're we're, we're gonna. I, I'm gonna. I I've been thinking about how I want to take certain things, and um, we'll see. Maybe I'll start a second channel and do more of the stuff that I want to do, just for me you know, and do stuff just for the channel and then do stuff that's just for me and, you know, share my process, you know, like I, I would love to record all of this, but I, I, you know, it's not something that I can, I can really do, but I can, once I get the canvas up and, and then I can, you know, show how I do the rest of this stuff. So we'll see. But, Anywho, um, it's what, 20 hours? Oh, wow. We've been on for an tw hour and 20 minutes. Yes. Let's wrap this baby up. Call it a night. Um, there's still some stuff I want to get done in here. So, um, and I have to work in the morning because, you know, that whole oh, eight to four thing. <laughs> <laughs> but it'll be a great week. And, you know, it's the start of a new week. And I'm looking forward to it. Um, trying to start the week off with a positive attitude. Um, just remember to be observant of the people and the things and the sky and the grass and 
everything that's around you, the energy that's around you. And, um, and I'm not talking just metaphysical energy. I'm talking about, you know, actual energy. Because <laughs> um, that's what we are. We're just a bundle of energy. So, um, and have yeah. fun with it and be and be be good to each other. And um, again, thank you guys for all your love and support as Michael and I have gone through all this stuff. Yeah, and thank you very much. I really appreciate that. And I just want to say thank you to everyone that showed up tonight that's been in the chat, has been participating with us. Uh, I want to thank Christopher for, for being here tonight. Thank well, you. Well, thanks for having me. I had a good time. Fantastic. Yes. Yeah. We broke another cherry. <laughs> Yeah, and she, and she didn't have to kick you. So, yeah. Right, yeah. But, uh, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> that, that, oh, my. Yeah, when, the, when the fun stuff starts. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you for all the support and everything. It's it's it, It's been a very uh, emotional time, but this has been good and very helpful, very therapeutic. So, I, I, from the bottom of my heart, I say thank you. Yeah. Yes. Thank you all. Uh, we go live again on Wednesday night for Artapalooza. So we will see you then. Remember, be kind to one another. Peace, love, and happiness.